it is 70 degrees right now and you guys have no idea how much piles of snow that are like that old and dirty piss me off it just looks really ugly especially when it's warm and sunny but that is from that first snowfall that i was telling you guys about that was what january 19 ish that one storm called easy or whatever that hit the south messed everybody up we still have those fucking piles going on I've always wanted to see what my maneuvers look like when I'm driving. Did you guys notice that fucking sound that goes like every time my tire completes a revolution and it sounds kind of like a metallic thud? You guys, for about three years, I've been trying to prove to Toyota that that noise was going on. For the life of me, they wouldn't believe me they couldn't figure it out they were not hearing it and what was crazy was that i knew it was coming obviously from the tires or from like the rims or something but it didn't dawn on me that the very first time i ever heard it it was on the driver's side and then eventually i thought i was hearing it on the passenger side and at some point it just moved somewhere else i told myself it is strange that this problem rectified itself without it being found. What was happening was it was a rim problem, something about my rims being made of plastic, but then they have like this metal wiring thing going on. Anyway, something is worn down and that's what makes that sound. It's not like my tires are gonna like collapse or anything nothing like that like there's nothing mechanically wrong with the car it's just the rim is like worn down in some spots something like that i can't remember what the explanation was it took me driving with one of the guys to be like there i hear it now do you hear it and he couldn't hear it and i was like how about if i drive and then as soon as i start hearing it i'll let you know and then I had the idea of going into somewhere enclosed because I could hear it louder when I was in a place that allowed for sound to resonate. Say, if I was at a drive through if I was driving under some kind of tunnel or something. And then he said, I know exactly where we can go to have that kind of acoustic effect. And we went there. And then he sat on the passenger side and I said, listen to it. It's going. And then he finally was able to hear it. And he said, I think I know where it's coming from. So he started messing with the rim. And lo and behold, when he took the rim out and I drove, the sound was gone. But because the rim kept being placed in random spots, sometimes the noise would come from the back of the car. Other times it would be right next to me. Other times it would be on the other side. So I kept thinking that the car was just playing games with me. Just know that that little sound has history. And I had been crying about it for about three to four years. Now that we're in 2022. I was just so happy that I was able to prove that the noise was there. And that we finally figured it out. Because they would just look at me like... It didn't make me feel like I was a Karen or I was weird or anything. It's just that I was sad that because I'm a car mechanic dummy, I couldn't explain to them 
all I could tell them is this is the direction it's coming from and it happens every time the tire completes a revolution because as I speed up it's kind of like a time signature in music it has its pattern based on what speed I'm going those are the terms that I had to use for them to understand but at least it was good to hear that there's nothing falling apart and that it's just that rims are just not what they used to be and I've never been happy with those stupid rims but they're just rims I'm not going to trip over it but I just thought I would share with you guys that little anecdote